Hi there. There's a lot of debate about what happens when you fly your drone over water, whether you should enable or disable your vision positioning system. So I decided to look into this a bit further and create this lecture. First of all, your vision positioning system is also known as your forward and downward vision system. The one that we're interested in is the downward vision system, which uses ultrasound and image data to hover more precisely. It was really designed for use where there's no GPS, such as indoor, where without GPS the drone would just sort of drift around and it would be quite dangerous. But during regular flying it makes a difference because, for example, your landings are a lot smoother when you have VPS enabled. In the DJI manual, they state that your performance may be affected by the surface being flown over. They say, operate the aircraft with great caution when flying over water. And this is taken directly from the VPS section. Finally, they say your forward and downward vision system may not function properly when the aircraft is flying over water. So I looked at the latest Mavic manual and I couldn't find an instruction anywhere to disable VPS when flying over water. All I was told is that it might not work. Finally, it's important to know how much VPS you have. At least the downward vision system on the Phantom 3 goes up to 3 meters. Phantom 4 and Inspire 2 up to 10 meters and the Mavic up to 13 meters. So in the DJI Go app, if you go into your obstacle sensing section over there and you go into advanced vision settings, you'll see enable downward vision positioning. Now what happens when you disable that is it gives you a warning. It says if you disable it, the aircraft will not be able to hover in place at low altitudes. All right, let's have a look at the video of my Mavic flying over the swimming pool with VPS on and then with VPS off, and we can draw our own conclusions. So here we go. In the top right of the screen, you will see the Mavic Pro hovering in the air. Currently, we have VPS on, and it's flying above a ground surface. And I'm going to play the video now. You'll see it's holding position really, really well, as it should. Then I'm going to move it out over the water surface and just watch it how it jumps up because the VPS is now being interfered with. So what I noticed with VPS on is that it tends to lift up and then come back down. It just seems to be quite erratic. But it's not really going below the altitude that it had when the VPS was over land. But now look at what happens when we switch VPS off. When we switch VPS off, you're going to see the drone tends to drift downwards. And this I found quite interesting. So there it's drifting down below the original position it had and even further. So my conclusion is that basically flying over water is risky. You should have sufficient separation, but I'm not sure if VPS should be switched on or off for any particular reason. I can't see a reason. In fact, out of the experiments that I did, when your VPS is on, the drone tends to, when it, when it reaches water, it tends to shoot up a little bit. And when VPS is off, it tends to sink downwards a little bit. In both cases, it's erratic. So I fly with VPS on. And my feeling is if you're flying over water with VPS on, just be aware that it's going to behave erratically and just give enough separation. And the same goes with VPS off. So there you have it. It's an interesting discussion. And I think it's slightly inconclusive. And it seems that DJI in the latest Manuals are not specifically saying switch VPS over water. They're just saying it's not going to work or function properly over water. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that.